Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Well, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about camping toilets. And if you recall, a while back I made a video about a toilet that I purchased that I, when I opened it, it was, it was broken, but I did the broken toilet review anyway on it. I ended up sending that one back. I'm glad I did because I got another one that I actually like a lot better. And I like the shape of it a lot better as well. I just got back from a trip. I brought my granddaughter with me and boy were we glad we had this toilet. Alrighty, well here in this black sack is my toilet. Bags. Rim lid. Side walls to the toilet. And this is the, the tray that sets inside of it to keep the toilet walls up. Anyhow, extra liners and this is how we work it it's basically a wiggly wall and you open it up you put your little tray inside of it and it forms sits in there real nice and it forms the base of the toilet okay just like that you get your bag here now these are commode liners and you can get them online and there's, there's a lot of different kinds, but these these are super thick, very short, and they they suit this toilet perfectly. So you set your bag in there, put your lid on it, and there's your, your little toilet. So inside of here, you're going to be putting either horse pellets, which are really excellent, or cat litter, or whatever you choose, really. This last trip I went on, I used cat litter, and it worked well. So basically... Uh, you do your business, and if it's a clumping cat litter, I mean, it's just kind of going to clump in there, whatever you do, whatever kind of business you're doing in there. Um, you do your business, you get yourself all straightened out there, and you basically pull the bag out. We're just going to pretend that there's business in here and cat litter. What I do is I basically bring everything to a corner here. I grab it up here. I twist it several times. I put it back inside the bag. I'm sure you're getting my idea. And then I close it after I've done that. So you have this little pouch. It's like a double sealed pouch. Then what I do with this, if I don't have a facility immediately to throw it out in, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I have a, a bucket here. It's called my camping trash bucket. Um, I put this in a Kroger bag or whatever your grocery store bags are and I put that in this in the, Gro the Kroger bag and then I put the Kroger bag in here and then I of course tie it up tight and everything and I just keep it sealed in this bucket here and this bucket stays in my front seat of the van and I either dispose of it immediately if I'm at a camping site um, and I'm in the middle of the night I obviously don't go walk there right away I just get up in the morning and I take care of it I walk down to the disposal site and dispose of it um, and then I just leave the toilet as is or set it up depending on who's with me so the brand of this toilet is called Blika B-L-I-K-A and the liners are Sanicare commode liners and I'll provide the uh, links in the description um, of this video so I'll have all that for you there anybody who's interested one thing I will say about this toilet versus the first one I bought though I did a video on my broken toilet uh, that toilet was a round toilet and it it um, it was I liked it uh, it I like the height and everything of it but I will say that I'm very thrilled that this toilet is oval shaped and it it just kind of fits better when you're sitting on it going to the bathroom so I will say that I am, I'm glad I actually bought this one. I like the shape of it a lot better. And to tell you the truth, I didn't even know it was oval when I bought it. I, it didn't appear to be oval in the picture. I thought I was just buying another round toilet, but it wasn't. So I'm glad it turned out to be oval because it works a lot better. Um, anyhow, that is that. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, hit the bell. Make sure you don't miss any other videos. Anyone who is interested in van camping adventures with kids, um, just 
anything you could use in your van for camping. I have quite a few videos up right now about stuff like that. So go check them out. You guys have a great day and until next time.